hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic effect inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool techniques inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics in depth then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose over here is 1920. Height I'm going to choose 1080. Frame rate is 30. Duration is one minute long. And background color is red color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool over here and I'm going to type one text over here. You can type any text you want. I'm going to type kinetic typography okay increase the distance between these alphabets and for the font I'm going to choose uh, Poppins font black version over here I'll copy this text control C let's add up one more spacebar again add spacebar and hit control V now select this layer press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically okay so this is going to be my text now after that i'm going to select my ellipse tool over here which is this one okay and by holding shift i'm going to create one mask on this press v for selection tool double click and try to adjust it properly at the center make sure the anchor point of this one should be properly at the center okay so now this text uh, this mask is properly at the center let's make this fit now go inside this text option go inside this path options and over here in path you will get this option right now it's none we are going to choose mask one so now this text is going to be aligned with this mask then over here we are going to choose this reverse path over here on so we'll get this kind of stuff go to the character menu and we will increase the size of this font so we will get this proper look yeah okay so this is going to be my proper look now i'm going to select my ellipse tool again over here and this time i'm going to delete this fill i don't need this fill and i'm going to choose stroke white stroke and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically bring this downwards and let's increase the stroke width like this then press s and let's increase the size of this one let's increase the stroke width i'm going to make it 75 okay now select this shape layer hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and this time i'm going to change the color of this one to black one and let's increase the stroke width to 10 or let's say 5 okay press s and let's decrease the scale okay select this let's make this somewhere around like this okay select this hit ctrl d press s and let's uh, increase the size of it like this okay so you'll get something like this select this and let's increase decrease the stroke width to 4 pixels so we will get this kind of stuff hit u to minimize it now this is going to be my uh, main layer over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to select all of them and i'll make it apparent with the shape layer now select the shape layer press r for rotation create one keyframe go somewhere around let's say two seconds and let's make this one complete rotation or let's say 180 degree over here let's go to four second and copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v uh, or uh, let's hit ctrl z go around three seconds maybe um, we will select this keyframes we will hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframes now select those keyframes we will go to around six seconds by holding alt i'm going to drag this keyframes over here up to this so we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 and now if you see this animation first we will get this animation over here then we will get the same animation in reverse format 
then after that we will go to around 7 second over here and we will create one keyframe over here like this or i don't think we need to create any other keyframe so let's alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff now i'm going to select this uh, ellipse over here i'll go to the add menu and i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end value 75 create one keyframe at offset hit u go to the six second and we will make this one okay so we will get this animation or rotation then alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this okay then select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and uh, i'm going to move this handle over here like this so if you see this animation we are gonna get this kind of stuff okay like this now let's uh, go inside this select this stream path hit ctrl c select this layer go inside this contents select this ellipse and hit ctrl v okay hit u now as you guys can see we will getting same animation over here but this time what we are going to do we will go to the last frame and over here we uh, we have plus one instead of that i am going to type minus one so now if i see this animation i'll get this animation continuously in the reversible format okay like this you can select this press r for rotation you can rotate it a little bit like this and if you want you can select these layers and press v you can change the stroke width of both of them to one also so we don't need to get too much of it like this okay go over here select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as trip and hit ok double click to open this hit u and make sure that you are at a six second hit n over here right click and trim comp to work area go to the main animation make sure that you are at six second then over here right click time time enable remapping and before the last keyframe create one keyframe select this last keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this now go to the start select this and let's decrease the size a little bit like this okay now select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply decrease the distance between zero increase the softness to 200 and opacity 40 okay now select this strip hit ctrl d select this layer and increase the size of it like this select this hit ctrl d select this third layer increase the size of it okay select this hit ctrl d select this increase the size of this select this hit ctrl d select this increase the size of this select this hit ctrl d select sixth layer and increase the size of this one okay so now if you see we will get something like this now press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background and bring this downward like this okay now i am going to take a distance of 10 10 frames over here or let's say 5 frames select this move this over here go to 10 frames move this over here with the help of open square bracket you can move them shift them over here like this then select all of them hold alt open square bracket to trim up to this go to the start and let's move this over here so now if you see this animation we will get something like this and if you go to 6 second and hit n you will get this animation even in the form of loop after this okay like this and if you want you can select the six layer over here go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and simply double click to apply and you can swap this color copy this tint effect select this fourth layer and this layer and apply this so you will get this kind of animation okay so this is this uh, then another thing you can do you can select these layers all of them and ctrl d and let's bring them at the top press ctrl shift c and let's call it as fairs and hit ok double click to open this press ctrl y on your keyboard and bring one solid background okay 
Now select this sphere, go to the effect and presets panel and search for CC sphere effect and double click to apply this. Uh, go to the um, light shading options. Uh, increase the ambient value and decrease the diffuse value somewhere around like this okay then radius we are going to decrease it somewhere around like this okay so if I see this animation now I'll get something like this then I'm going to select this go to the rotation option and you can rotate it on somewhere around like this I'm going to rotate it like this so if you see we are getting this kind of animation over here but we don't want something like this i'll go with this kind of stuff so let's make this zero initially oh uh, and we can rotate it on this axis okay so let's go to the start create one keyframe at x rotation hit u go to the six second and we'll make it one complete rotation okay so we will get this weird stuff over here like this so if you want to avoid it you can move this to somewhere around like this okay so we will get something like this or instead of that what you can do let's make this zero initially and create one keyframe at y axis and z axis also hit u go to the last one and let's make this one and one so we will get this rotation in all directions and uh, we are gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop also okay so now what we are going to do over here let's see we will right click new and create one adjustment layer we will bring this over here okay one thing i forgot to tell you select this spare alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here for all of them so what will happen uh, even if we increase the duration this is going to be in the form of loop okay like this now i'm going to select this adjustment layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to apply tint effect on it and we can swap this color and we will simply bring this adjustment layer in the middle of it like this okay over here then we can select this and we can increase the size of it like this then select your pen behind tool and simply bring this downwards press v and we will bring this size over here like this okay then i'm going to select this adjustment layer press r for rotation create one keyframe let's go to around six second and let's make this one complete rotation so if i see this animation now i'll get this animation over here also and if you think this animation is quite fast over here then what you can do right now it says looping at 6 second where 6 plus 6 is 12 you can go to around 12 second and hit n over here and you can move this point over here also so after 6 second also you will get this animation continuously in the form of loop 